This woman was running on the beach when she found a floating bottle. Inside the bottle was a letter with a sailboat logo on it. The content of the letter was a man's thoughts about his late wife. The woman was touched by the sincerity of the letter. She even had the idea of meeting this man. She brought the letter in a bottle back to the newspaper office. And her colleague sympathized with the man who wrote the letter. Only the boss smelled the flow of traffic from the letter. The next day, the woman found out that the contents of the letter in the bottle had made it into the newspaper. Teresa scolds her boss for publishing a private letter without her permission. As expected, the letter in a bottle attracted a lot of attention when it was published. The boss asked them to look through the reader's letters. However, Teresa discovered that one of the readers had found another letter from a man on the beach. The man's longing for his late wife in the letter touched Teresa once again. She immediately decided to find the man. She used the letters to determine the place of birth and then the ocean currents to pinpoint the area. Finally, with the help of her colleague, Teresa successfully found the man's address. With excitement, Teresa quickly traveled to another city. After a long journey, Teresa finally found the man's beach house. Just as she was about to knock on the door, an old man asked her what she was doing. Teresa lead and said she liked the house and wanted to take a picture of it for the cover of a magazine. The old man said that the owner of the house was in the harbor and that it would be a good idea to say hello to him before taking the picture. So she followed the old man's directions. Teresa went to the harbor. She met the man on a wooden sailboat. At first glance, she fell in love with him. After learning his name, Teresa hid the letter and lied about wanting to experience sailing. Gary was no fool. He knew Teresa wanted to rent his boat. He knew that Teresa wanted to rent his boat and that she was going sailing tomorrow. So they agreed to meet at the restaurant at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Teresa left the marina and didn't sleep a wink. All she could think about was Gary's loving face. The next day, she showed up for her appointment, only to find Gary fighting with a man. She didn't know what the fight was about. But Gary's image of her was already in tatters. When they arrive at the harbor, Teresa says she doesn't want to rent the boat. Gary apologizes for what happened. He admits that he doesn't like to fight. If Teresa didn't want to go out on the water, then please untie him from the shore. Teresa did as she was told. But the moment the boat was about to leave the harbor, she suddenly changed her mind and jumped on board. The sea was calm. The boat was sitting smoothly. But inside Teresa's mind, she was in a state of turmoil. She wanted to know why Gary had fought with that man. Gary didn't want to talk about it. But as a reporter, Teresa pressed on. It turns out that Gary and his ex-wife's brother had been having problems. Teresa didn't ask any more questions. And in return, she told Gary she was a single mom. After skipping all that unpleasant talk, the two of them had a wonderful morning. Teresa left her jacket on the boat because she was having so much fun. Gary hasn't had a new girlfriend since his ex-wife died. His father reminded him to take advantage of this opportunity. So when he returned the jackets, he said he could cook as well as a three-star chef. And that's why he invited Teresa to dinner. The next afternoon, Teresa arrived with a glass of wine. She walked into Gary's house for the first time. She looked around the room, the pictures on the table. The paint brushes. The painting by the window was intact. The painting by the window had no trace of his ex-wife's presence. Teresa wasn't jealous. Instead, she told Gary that ever since her father died, since her father died, her mother had to hug her old sweater every night to go to sleep. Teresa understood the feeling of longing. Gary nodded gratefully. They ate dinner by candlelight. Then they strolled along the beach after sunset. Teresa was going to confess to him about the pain center. Maybe she was in love with Gary. Or maybe she was afraid he'd be angry if he found out. Teresa hid the truth and said she hadn't been on a date with a member of the opposite sex in years. Gary said he wasn't very good at dating either. Even so, the two hearts grow closer and closer together. And eventually a spark of love is born. In the days that followed, the two had a sweet life. They fished at dusk. They sailed under the stars. They embraced in the mornings. That day Gary showed Teresa an unfinished masterpiece. His lifelong dream was to sail on this wooden boat he had built. But his wife died years ago. He hasn't touched the boat since. Teresa wondered what Gary's ex-wife was like. So while he was out shopping, she took the liberty of going through the tools she used to paint with. That hit a nerve with Gary. He didn't say anything but his face showed his displeasure. Teresa tried to help put the tools back in her place, but she accidentally did the wrong thing. Teresa left before the situation got worse. Outside, 
She met Gary's father. Teresa learned everything she needed to know about her ex-wife. The woman was a gifted painter. She married Gary against her family's wishes. But the woman's health had always been poor. And when she got pregnant, her health went downhill. She didn't survive. At lunch, the father said the house was too crowded and implied that Gary should put his belongings away. He wanted his son to move on from the past and take advantage of the happiness that was in front of him. Before he knew it, it was time to leave. Before he left, Teresa asked if he'd come back for her. Even though they weren't in a committed relationship, Teresa still hoped to see him again. When she got back to the office, her boss immediately asked her about the results of her work. In order to hide her relationship, Teresa lead and said she had nothing to show for her investigation. The boss is disappointed and leaves. After the separation, Gary resumes his dream of building boats. Teresa has returned to her role as a good mom. But the same seed of longing had already been planted in both of their hearts. And it didn't take long for it to sprout. Gary eventually made his way to the big, nasty city. When he met Teresa, they couldn't wait to express how much they missed each other. But a trick is a trick. And there's always a time to wake up. That day, Gary found the bottle in the drawer. He looked at the two letters he'd written and the news in the paper. Gary, who had been kept in the dark, finally learned the truth. Despite Teresa's desperate explanations, Gary was overcome with anger. He wanted to make a clean break. Teresa chased him out in the rain. Gary wanted to walk away, but Teresa told him there was a third letter. Gary rushed back into the house to look for it. The letter was actually his ex-wife's suicide note, which she had thrown into the ocean. Gary read it and burst into tears. Teresa reaches out to offer him some comfort, but Gary got up and left. He wanted to be alone, but Teresa took it as a sign of separation and focused on her work. Her ability to do her job was rewarded by her boss. It wasn't long before she was promoted to editor-in-chief. When Teresa moved into her new office, she received a letter. Inside were two postcards. It turned out Gary had been thinking about her all along. In the time he'd been away, he'd not only repaired his relationship, he'd built his dream boat. In the postcards, Gary expressed how much he missed Teresa and invited her to the maiden voyage. Spring has spring on the island and the people are looking forward to the launching of the new boat. And Teresa was invited, but as she approached the dock with her gifts, she heard the crowd reminiscing about Gary's ex-wife, Teresa Frouncy, in her tracks. Gary broke the champagne to celebrate the maiden voyage. The crowd erupted in cheers. The ship was named after his ex-wife, Teresa, who witnessed this, left the dock in a jealous rage. After the celebration, Teresa cried and said she knew Gary was deeply committed to his ex-wife. And the only thing she could do was to give him some more time. When he's truly over it, he can't come back to himself. It wasn't until after Teresa left, Gary realized her gift to him was a compass. Inside the wooden box was a blessing. Signed, love, Teresa. The father wished he didn't have a stupid son. He solemnly warned Gary that he had to choose between yesterday and tomorrow. After a night of deliberation, Gary wrote a farewell letter to his ex-wife. He doesn't want to fail Teresa anymore. Early in the morning, Gary took his new boat for a deep sea voyage. He waved goodbye to his father on the shore. He hadn't checked the weather forecast yesterday. Gary was caught in extreme weather on the ocean. He could have sailed home immediately, but there was a distress signal not far away. Gary went to the rescue immediately. It was a family of three. Their boat had broken down and lost its ability to travel. Gary threw out a life preserver and rescued the father and daughter. The woman was still struggling. Gary bravely jumped in and tried to save them, but the waves were too strong. He couldn't get through. Gary looked back at the father and daughter in the boat. He couldn't bear to let them lose their family. Gary dove into the rough sea, despite the danger. But the next moment, a wave toppled the boat. Gary and the woman were hit and ended up at the bottom of the ocean. Teresa's tears came to her eyes when she heard the news. Search and rescue teams searched the ocean for three days. All they found was Gary's jacket. The old man told Teresa he found a bottle in his son's jacket. Gary's real reason for sailing was to throw his wedding ring and this letter into the sea and say goodbye to his past. Teresa throws the letter and the bottle into the sea. Then she hugs the old man who has lost his son. Feelings are to be pursued bravely with the heart. And to deceive your own heart for the sake of momentary fascination is to get eternal loss. Since you love, you have to let go of love. When one side of love is lost, the other side has to be brave and navigate for him with love. Will be sealed love open. Let love with the wind sail away.